Tekla Khan became one of the country's most prominent mediums. The daughter of former plantation slaves who had emigrated to England, she was introduced to spiritualism by her parents when a young girl. My father had collected together what we call a developing circle in the house. And people used to come at seven o'clock on the Wednesday night to sit in the circle. And I got very accustomed to seeing spirit people and I was able to say to the people that was in the circle who I had seen and give them whatever message I got for them. My mother and father knew that I was in touch with the spirit people because they themselves was already mediums and healers and they knew that it would be coming off to me. I used to say, you may be coming up to a little bit of difficulty, but like everything else, you'll, get, you'll overcome it. I never used to say, so-and-so is going to be killed. But you didn't know. I mean, you couldn't always. You only knew that it had happened when it had happened. By early spring 1941, 50,000 had been killed in the Blitz. Traumatized families who had lost loved ones found new hope in the belief that they might receive spirit messages from the other side. The need for this contact was so great that the mediums working in the cities were put under enormous strain. A lot of people, when their loved ones was killed in the, in the war, a lot of people wondered whether they were happy in the spirit world. There were so many there and you didn't have the time to be able to do it all. All of us, all we mediums found it exhausting. And then, you see, when the service was over and you would go in the ante room and you would have a cup of tea, one or two would come in and they'd say, you didn't see my Arthur or you didn't see my so-and-so, did you? And it would be heartbreaking to, uh, not to be able to, to tell them because you could see they, they thought we, was, we could work magic. Tekla Khan was sentenced to one month's imprisonment for her activities as a medium. But the authorities did not want to make martyrs of the spiritualists and at a second hearing the sentence was reduced. So I went back and I had to face this magistrate and he said to me, I've rescinded your sentence. And he said, now, uh, and if you promise that you will never, never again try to tell fortunes from dead people, and he said, and above all, prophesy, he said, then I let you off with a fine. And he said, you'll find 10 pounds. You can tell them up at the desk when you can pay it. And I hadn't got 10 pounds in my bag by any means. And I said to this man at the back of this counter thing, and I said, well, I'm sorry, I haven't got the 10 pounds. He said, it's been paid. He said, it's been paid, Mrs. Khan. Don't worry about it. Oh, I said, well, tell me who paid it. I want to thank them. He said, it's all been paid. He said, there's nothing to worry about. He said, go home and get a cup of tea. This is the BBC Home Service. Good morning, everybody. Here is the first news for today, Sunday, September the 3rd, read by Frederick Allen. The fifth anniversary of our entry into the war opens with more news of German defeats in the West, East and South. With the end of the war in sight, Families looked forward to long-awaited reunions and a return to normality. Tekla Khan was expecting her son, Ken, to come home on leave. I was in my house. I was having this cup of tea. And all of a sudden, the letterbox went, you know, up and down. And I heard, you, Mom. And that was the way he used to come when he came home. And the dog jumped up and barked. Lily jumped. And then she said, 
what's, what's the matter with the dog? Well, I smiled. I said, she's heard Ken. She said, what do you mean? I said, didn't you hear the, the, the letterbox rattle? So she said, N what? No. I said, well, the letterbox rattled. I said, and Ken shouted out, you man. So she, I said, it's come home on leave suddenly. And I went to the front door. And the front door was glazed so I could see who was outside, but there was nobody there. I opened the door and I thought, he's hiding in Nora's porch. I looked round, there was nobody there. I went to the corner of the road and looked down the side street, there was nobody there. And it was when I was coming back in, I knew he'd gone and that how he'd come to tell me. On the 23rd of April, 1945, Tekla's son, Ken Khan, was reported killed in action. Its comfort was greatest for those who were bereaved. For them, it held the daily hope of spiritual reunion. When the shadows take the nightly places, when departing light is faint and pale, dream I yet, or is it magic art? Oh, tell me, tell me truly. Is it you, love? Come to cheer my lonely heart. Come one step nearer, one shade clearer. Breathe one word before we part. Oh, tell me, tell me truly. Is it you, love? Come to cheer my lonely heart.